Well, hello, hello, General Hospital Daily Recap fans. Today's Daily Recap is for Monday, June the 5th, 2023. Monday, June the 5th. Eh, today's episode was so sad. You know, General Hospital is on a little slump right now. It's, it's moving along. You know, we had wasted space with Brooklyn and Trace in um, Chase at the pool. Tracy comes raining on their parade, ordering Chase around. I really want to know, too, what does she want, want with deception? There's some master plan she has in mind, probably somehow hostile takeover of deception. Tracy, no doggone well, she don't wear no makeup. But any, any, she wears as much makeup as I do. So, oh, but, you know, it's some kind of takeover, something for her to do. And then she'll probably say, I, I did this for you granddaughter now is yours you know it's just because i think tracy is always after the thrill of the acquisition but look miss Wu, she's gonna be fighting Wu for that because Wu has a lot of stock in deception and she has an interest in deception but i think though her interests have more turned to taking sunny down right so waste of space with them we had Jocelyn and Dex. Yeah. Of course, he tells her he loves her. She can't tell him back because the two, I, I, I've only been in love twice before. One was with Oscar and one was with Cameron and they both ended badly. Oh, But of course, at the end, after they hit the sheets, oh, she did say she loves him. Oh, yeah, she loves Dex. So that was them. And we have, let's see, here we go. Now trouble has come to town. Now Zeke has shown up. Mason has shown up. So they're probably working for the same organization. I do believe Mason is, I'm not, not Mason. I do believe Zeke is with Pikeman. Uh, he's not going to be Pikeman, <laughs> but he's going to be one of the key Pikeman agents, right? I, I do believe gonna be one of the mouthpieces for pikemen and um then we have you know what i think i'm missing one of my pictures because i've got one uploaded twice everybody i don't know which one to upload it twice so then we have um so jordan was happy not jordan portia was happy to see her brother and he said yeah this new client of his he took because they lived in new york so he's going to be in i'm gonna be in new york for a while and she wants him to come stay with, you know, her. And he, she, he says, no, 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 no. He wants to stay at the Metro Court because he's going to be there a while and he doesn't wear out, want to wear out his welcome. So, yeah, and he knows he's going to be doing some dealings that he's not going to want folks to know about, right? He's not going to want anybody to know about that. So, yeah, you stay at the Metro Court, Zeke. Stay at the Metro Court. So we have, let's see, Spencer and Trina. They, Trina was like overjoyed. Let's take this to the police. You know, this is what we need. And Spencer says, well, wait, we got to slow down, Trina, slow down. And she's like, why? And he goes, well, I mean, because of the way Uncle Victor got, you know, I don't know. Let's just... And so she goes, Spencer, there's something you're not telling me. No, I'm just saying, you know, that it, what if this wasn't real? She goes, let the police tell us it's not real. Let's take it. And I mean, we'll tell them where we got her. No, no, no. We can't say we got it from Uncle Victor because they would, you know, automatically discount it because of what he had done last, you know. So no, no, no. We can't say this is where we got it from. And, and Trina's like, Okay, he did do some bad things, but Spencer, evidence is evidence. I mean, what difference does it make? So then she, they would wonder, how did Victor get it? Well, I was, she's like, well, I'd like to know how he got this and how long did he have it, right? So Spencer, finally, she goes, you're not telling me something. And unless you want me to walk, you better tell me, Spencer. So he goes, you know, months ago, he asked his uncle Victor to help him with Esme, but Victor wanted to have her killed. And he's like, uh, no, I want 
to raise my baby brother. I want him away from her, but I don't want her dead. So he says, my uncle promised me he would look for an alternative method and he would get the evidence against Esme. He says, so chances are this is this is made up. And Trina goes, oh. She was, she goes, oh, man, she was so hopeful. Her hopes were high. Her spirits were high. They got what they needed. And she says, oh. And Spencer says, so, you know, Trina, bottom line, um, I, I really want you to just go. And you know what? I'm going to handle this. And Trina's like, wait, wait, what is there to handle? If this evidence is probably fabricated, that is Spencer, if you take it to the police as, as true, that's illegal. And you could go to jail. Do you understand? See, Esme won't be in jail, but you'll be in jail. And you will, your baby brother won't even have the benefit of being around you. See, and for Spencer, that'd be jail term number two, right? Number two. So he acted like he she what she was saying was sinking in, you know, and she says, and plus that is just not the right thing to do, Spencer. You know, she's trying to get him. Not to just act on devious lying practices, just falsifying. And she, you know, that's not what Trina's about. And unfortunately, Spencer's going to be his own undoing, un, un, own undoing. Because Taggart texted her and she says, oh, you know what? I got to go. I'm supposed to be having dinner with my dad. And she said, Taggart. And Spencer was like, I know who your dad is. She said, because I ain't ready. I ain't ready to call Curtis dad yet. And so Spencer said, yeah, you said yet. So that means you might get there soon. She goes, just, I don't want to, not, not yet. So he goes, no, I understand. He goes, go ahead and go, Trina. I will get rid of the, because she says, you get rid of all of this falsified evidence, right? He goes, I will get rid of it. And she goes, good. So she's walking out thinking she could take Spencer on his word. Spencer picks up the envelope. He's in, in the uh, envelope, the tablet. And then, you know, the receipt was there too. But And he's just looking at it like, how can I use this? Hmm, <laughs> you know, yeah, I told her I was getting rid of it. But I'm a Cassidine. We blackmail. How can I blackmail with this? Because look, he blackmailed his father <laughs> to get him to sign over the right. That is Spencer. So he's going to think, and my whole thing is, watch, he's going to go after Esme. He's going to show her this stuff and say, I'm going to turn all this over to the police if you don't. He goes, you need to go and you need to just sign over your rights to my brother. And it's going to backfire. See, and Laura's going to be gone. So whatever Spencer does, it's going to backfire on him. And it is going to cause a rift between he and Trina. That's exactly what's going to happen. Because he just doesn't know. That's one thing P Portia is right about. You know, Spencer and Trina are, are just cut from different cloths. Not, not just, oh, she's from a wrong side of the tracks because that ain't true. You know, she doesn't have the Cassidine money, but Spencer doesn't have any core noble values. He doesn't. Yes, he can go to task to protect someone he loves, but with left to his own devices, on a path he chooses himself, you know, that he's not forced upon by danger, he goes off to the left, even though the camera's probably showing right. So, because, <laughs> yeah, you know, the camera's doing opposite. He goes off to the left. He 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 doesn't have a, a moral compass. So that's what's going to always get Spencer in trouble. You know, it, it, it truly is. Now, Nicholas... It wasn't until he became an adult. Nicholas used to have some 
Ty, he used to pride himself on his nobility. He was a jerk a lot of the time, but he was very intelligent and very sophisticated because what is Stefan? Stefan, yes, yeah, Stefan. Oh, was it Stefan? Yes, raised him. You know, but Spencer really raised himself, unfortunately. Spencer in the boarding schools. So when you leave the fate of a child up to an institution, this is what you get. So now the next good thing was the conversation between Carly and Michael. He wasn't trying to hear her and she kept trying to make him hear her because he had to fess up about Dex because first she said, you turn Sonny in, you're turning in Dex and how's Jocelyn going to feel about you? And he goes, well, Dex will be protected. And she figured it out. She goes, wait a minute. What do you mean by Dex? Dex would be protected. And how are you so sure? So he had to just spill the beans. He was the one who had Dex infiltrate Sonny's organization. And Carly was just like, so disappointed. She was just like, oh no. She was actually kind of hurt because it's like she kept telling Michael, this is your father. You're doing this to your father. And it wasn't sinking in to Michael. Because he goes, she goes, yes, Sonny hurt me. Period. Yes. But I would never. He is still the father of my children. And nor would I ever just throw somebody under the bus. And so Michael said, yeah, but what would you do? What would you do to protect your family? And Carly's just looking. So Carly said, Michael, I need you to understand this. See, and Michael used to know this. And, and we said this before on Comment Corner. If Sonny is taken out, his entire family is not protected at all. Carly said, Michael, I need you to think. I want, look, Sonny goes to prison. What do you think will happen to his territory? Jason is not here. I can't step up again. I, I, I cannot do it this time. Jason isn't here. Is there anyone in Sonny's organization that's been trained to, to take over? And Michael's like, no. She goes, so what do you think is going to happen? He goes, she goes, oh, a rival organization or rival organizations will come in jockeying for Sonny's territory. She And she looked at Michael and she says, who do you think is going to die first? And Michael looked at her and she says, Michael, it's going to be me because I know too much. It is going to be me. And Michael's just looking at her. See, see, let's he and she needed Jocelyn to be here. Because let's just rip the bandage off, kids. Ungratefuls. You so busy being pissed off. You so busy don't want me to take my lumps because it would just be a slap on the wrist, couple years, like she said. Diane could get it down to a couple years or less. No, I wouldn't want to be away from, from Donna, but I would, you know, and it'd be done, right? But they don't want that. No, our mother can't go to jail, but you're going to put your mother in a position where she's going to be killed. Because mm. you needed to have Sonny in jail. And she goes, and do you think, Michael, that they're going to stop with me. Everybody in the family is on the list. Everybody's a target now. And Michael said, well, you're just playing, you're playing the worst scenario. She goes, Michael, that, no, I'm not playing the worst scenario. That's what's going to happen. And he just, so she goes, so, so, 
he left her the flash drive. He goes, well, I'm just going to, okay, I hear you. I hear you. I won't do it. It's your choice. It's your choice. And he leaves her the flash drive. And I'm thinking, Carly better not leave that flash drive on that counter. That evidence is, she had better, as soon as Michael leave, take a camera, bam, bam, you know, smash that flash drive into bits. Because if Jocelyn comes home, and she's on her way home now, she and Dex finally got up out the sack, got dressed, right? She's on her way home. She better not get a hold of that. See? Carly needs to have that hard conversation with Jocelyn because Michael told her Jocelyn knows about the information. Jocelyn knows the whole thing. So now the next conversation I'm having is with my heir, my, my know-it-all daughter. My rude know-it-all daughter. I got to talk to her now and let her know the danger. She goes, we need Sonny around to protect us. Right. So anyway, and see, and, and, and this is not a situation that because see what would have happened? Because she said Sonny would be going to jail because I would have turned on him and sent him away. That's what would make me a horrible threat to the other organizations. Because now I got information I could use against Wu. You know? Because the other five families, we know we're down to two. <laughs> you know, Sonny and Wu. So, no. Carly, Carly knows that mob boss wife, life. And she knows. And you know what? Michael does too. I don't know what he is thinking. He absolutely does. Knows what would happen. So anyway, it was just weird just to see Carly's face as she's trying to get through to Michael. It was like real deal. It's like, oh my God, no, I'm not doing this because I got to protect Sonny. I got to protect Sonny. No, I'm protecting all of us. We are united here. So that was it. That's what happened on General Hospital uh, today, June the 5th. And I will be back for another episode tomorrow. There's no comments in Comment Corner. I will be back tomorrow for another daily recap of General Hospital.